Hi, this is Fred. Many times when you upload slides to Big Blue Button, they may contain like a question at the top and a bunch of choices that you would like users to respond to. This looks like a poll question. And I'm going to show you how in Big Blue Button, you can turn this into a poll with a single click. We call it Smart Slides. These are formatted in Google Slides as like uh, alphanumeric. And if I switched over to show you these same slides in PowerPoint, it's the same deal. I could list a bunch of choices and I could just ask PowerPoint to say, hey, format this as A, B, C, D. All right, I've uploaded these slides to Big Blue Button and I also have another user joined uh, as student A. And they're gonna be my student for the class. So if I draw something here with the whiteboard, uh, you'll see it over here. So what's gonna happen is each time you go to a slide, Big Blue Button reads the text of the slide in your memory for screen readers. But in doing so, it can also detect things like, ah, oh, this looks like a question followed by A, B, C, D, E. And when it sees this, it will give you a single button to let you trigger a poll. And what happens then is when you trigger the poll, these students are gonna see a choice pulled right from the slide. So you don't have to pause in your class to type in anything. That seems silly when the text is already right there in the slide. And when you do the slides, Big Blue Button will show you the results live as it does with any other poll. But this time you didn't type anything in, you just clicked a single button. And these poll results are also visible in the Learning Analytics dashboard. This keeps track of all the polls and students' activity and attendance. If you do a couple polls, you can quickly see if there are any students that may be not responding to polls. And then you can give them encouragement saying, hey Sam, it's important that you respond. It's how you learn. So let's try an example. So let's go back. <laughs> what are the rings of Saturn made of? And I'm just gonna do click one poll. So over in Firefox, and what I'll do is I'll put these side by side. Over in Firefox, this is what the students would see, and I got the choices, and clearly it's gummy bears. And you can see as soon as I did it, the blue button gives you the live response, and you can see the responses as gummy bears. And I could publish the poll, and I could uh, see that gummy bears was the top response, and I could also go to the Learning Analytics dashboard, look at the poll results, and I can see that student A responded to gummy bears. Cool. Let's do some other examples. So you can do multiple response polls. So in this case, what two elements comprise table salt? So the way you tell Big Blue Button I want a multiple response is just put two question marks at the top. Smart poll button. It will come back and now this will be a multiple response. So what two elements comprise table salt? Uh, sodium and chloride. And I can submit and you can see the results here. You can also do true false. So you can see here is the default poll results, but hey, if I just have true false in my slide, I can do a true false poll. And if I flip back, did Einstein discover the atom? Uh, it's actually false, he didn't. And if you want to do like a yes, no, you just put yes, no somewhere in your slide and then you'll get a yes, no smart slide button and you click it. And again, as you expect it, yes, no. Again, you're not typing anything in. This is formative assessment with a single click. You can also do uh, type response. So you can see we've done like true, false, yes, no, A, B, C, D, E. Type response is there's no choices. You just want students to enter response. So let's say you had a question, could be anything. And if you just put a question mark in somewhere in the slide, uh, Big Blue Button will pick up and say, hey, I'll give you a smart slide button. You may not tend the slide to have a poll. Uh, you can just ignore this, but if you wanted to, it's gonna make it really easy. I just select type response, I flip over, and here it's pulled the question and said, at what time will they be 450 miles apart? And I can put in the answer here, it's 10 a.m., okay? And if I submit, you can see the responses come through. That's gonna save you a lot of time. It's gonna give you more feedback from your students. It's gonna give you more opportunities for formative assessment, and it's gonna use the content you probably already have on your slides. All right, so there's a couple other things you can do. So I've shown you formative assessment with a single click. Uh, let's look at, you can hide the content of slides from the user and the smart slides will still pick it up. You can put YouTube links in your slides and smart slides will pick it up. And you also can do visual assessment and that's using the whiteboard, which I'll show you at the end. All right, so let's hide the polling option. So let's say you had something where you wanted to ask students, hey, how are you feeling so far in this presentation? But you didn't want to have like A, B, C, D in the question. Well, uh, you could put the question here, uh, say anywhere in the slide, and you just obscure it with a white box. 
and then what students see is this, but the text is still read into memory for screen readers, and so it's still visible and accessible to BigBlueButton Smart Slides. So if I click here, ABCD, I flip over to my user, I get the ability to do a quick temperature check maybe with students. How are you feeling so far? I'm feeling very confident. And then you see the responses. All right, BigBlueButton has the ability to share an external video, and I could put a URL in for a YouTube video, for example. But if you put a URL link inside your slides, BigBlueButton will pick it up and say, would you like to share that YouTube video with a single click? So if I click, Hi, I'm going to show you some updates for this smart slides, smart slides even, even easier for all the students. For you, save time, save time for the class. The... This saves you time. You can also do it with multiple videos. So if I had three different videos that I wanted to show, and here I've got my video links here, but notice I actually put like this sort of comment at the end of the URL, then the blue button will pick it up. And then I can see there's three different YouTube links and the comment kind of helps me see which one I want to present. All right, fun thing at the end is visual assessment. So another way of doing assessment is using the whiteboard. So here there's lock settings. And if I turn off the ability to see other whiteboard cursors and other whiteboard annotations, and I apply that, then when I'm in the class and I turn on the multi-user whiteboard, as students move around, I can see their cursors and they cannot see each other's cursors. So whether you have a map or a circuit board or flow diagram or anything that's visual, with turning off the ability for students to see each other's cursors, you can start asking students and you will see all the students' cursors, but they can't see each other. And it's a really cool way to do visual assessment. And so in summary, uh, Big Blue Button Smart Slides can detect common ABCD patterns, true, false, yes, no, and create polls with a single click. And the Learning Analytics dashboard aggregates the results so you can review them to see if there's any students maybe struggling, is the class with you, and decide what to do next. This is how Big Blue Button helps you teach class more effectively by saving you time and giving you the ability to do formative assessment with a single click.